Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, the final step, after you've calculated your T, okay, your T value is 1.86, 1.81, okay? The final step is to just find a critical value. Mm -hmm. And once again, your critical value will be given as what? T alpha mm -hmm. and then N minus one degree of freedom. Mm -hmm. So here your alpha value was uh, 0 0.05, okay? And uh, your degrees of freedom. Yeah, we have N minus one, your N is 10. So your DF will be nine, okay? So we'll go and read. We are going to read from the T table. That will be, don't forget, we are looking at difference. So uh, alternate hypothesis is not equal to, which means you have to divide your alpha into two, okay? So that will be, um, alpha here is 0 0.025, okay? And uh, your degree of freedom is nine. So we have nine, you move along this way. Uh, so nine and 0 0.25 will give you two points. There's a value. You will get two point towards two six two, okay? So the value we are looking for, for the critical value is 2.22. Okay. So let's take that back into our calculations. So we go back. Okay. So once again, once again, as we always do, okay, we plot your standard normal. This is the T table, the T distribution, sorry. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think we'll wrap it up here. Okay, once you find your critical value, it's the same uh, step to compare your T value with um, the critical value and then uh, conclude and make inference on the, on the test procedure. Okay, I'll push the videos up on YouTube as usual. Okay, so you can go there and check on the video. All the lectures from lecture one till now, okay, are on YouTube. So just go there, check on it, like the video, comment on it and uh, I'll get back to you. Yo, so I'll leave you here so that you are. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, you. I've been doing that. So I've been liking and then comment, commenting. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go and watch this one. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, you sir. Later, Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye.